Okay, big forecast coming up, and I think this is a forecast you can't claim has snuck up on us. We've been talking about this period being potentially really warm for probably a week and a half, two weeks. Let's get started and take you out to Avila Beach and show you the clear skies out there. Now, what's interesting today is that computer models like at least a little bit of marine influence the next few days. As we get into Sunday and Monday, I really think it's going to get blown out by offshore winds. So you're going to be able to find some relief, I think, at the beaches, at least in the short term. Again, Sunday and Monday, we'll see dramatically less of that relief. It's 68 right now in San Luis, 67 in Santa Maria, 77 in Santa Inez, 76 Santa Barbara, 102 in Paso Robles. And just a note on the interior valley temperatures. Average daytime highs, low 90s. So already today, a good chunk above average, but no record today. You can see the winds are onshore currently, and again, that is helping to moderate the temperature. And you can see that we've got marine cloud cover off the coast, and what we've seen disappear really is only mixed out. It's going to reform again tonight. There are fires burning. There is a fire off in the Central Valley up in the higher Sierra and is blowing some smoke into the Central Valley. Some does drift in here. So if you've noticed some smoke, yes, it's still out there. And again, just to comment that we can see the marine layer forming and mixing out, reforming again on Saturday. Again, this is all fairly good news because it can help us on temperature. But I really think the marine Cloud cover takes a big hit later Saturday into Sunday. And there you can see Sunday into Monday. We're not going to see much. So Morrill Bay, a little warmer tomorrow, back up into the mid to upper 60s. Afternoon winds out of the northwest. In Lompoc, we'll see temperatures into the 70s with northwest afternoon winds, but nothing intense. Now, once you get a little further into the coastal valley, San Luis, 90 degrees at 3 o'clock. Yeah, we spend a little time getting there. There will be a northwest wind in the afternoon, but that's pretty warm. 80 is an average daytime high for San Luis. Arroyo Grande temperatures into the mid to upper 70s. And again, past the Robles, if anything, I'm too conservative going 103 tomorrow. It was 104 today. And yes, we're going to run through the advisory again. For coastal valleys, it is a Saturday, Sunday excessive heat warning. For the interior, it's Friday through Monday. And there you can see the entire region. In fact, anywhere in California, essentially covered by some kind of heat advisory. So... The common sense is in play. Limit being outside, hydrate yourself, avoid alcohol, wear appropriate clothing, sunscreen. And if you get out of the car, make sure everything important is out of the car as well. Reservoir levels continue to drop a little bit. More of these can be found on my social media, but Nascimento is down to 29. Jameson, 88. Kachuma is at 74. Okay, the reason we're going to see this heat wave, building ridge of high pressure. Now, while high pressure and these ridges are not uncommon, the amplitude of this one is and strength. This kind of setup only happens once every 10 or 20 years this time of year and can really, really drive some intense heat. So it's kind of a tough call on just how warm to go in the extended forecast. 103 Paso, 91 San Luis, 80 Santa Maria, 78 Lompoc, 89 in Santa Barbara tomorrow. Overnight lows on the south coast in the 60s. Cuyama Valley, upper 90s. Santa Inez, solving. Los Alamos, upper 90s. Five cities temperatures, again, even the beaches tomorrow, pushing the mid to upper 70s. The north coast beaches may be a little bit cooler, and some folks could see temperatures as warm as, say, 105 or so. Now, for the weekend, Santa Maria goes 85, 95 on Sunday. The question is, how much cooling do we get on Monday? Could still be near 100 degrees for the south coast on Monday. Paso Robles, 103, 107, 114 on Sunday. Some models are giving us guidance that says we'll absolutely break the record on Sunday. I think it'll be close. San Luis Obispo temperatures right around 100 degrees, both Saturday, Sunday, and Monday as well. More tonight at 6. We'll see you then. Back to you.